Parking at TCNJ, it's a nightmare. Just don't do it. Okay, but for real, if you are a commuter, good luck finding parking here on campus. It's easily the worst part of TCNJ with an incredibly unbalanced parking system. Let me explain. Here you can see a map of the college campus where there are a total of 18 different lots to park in. Of those 18 lots, only 5 allow commuters to park there. Those would be lots 5, 6, along with parking garage 7 and lot 17. Overflow parking for commuter students is located in the upper levels of lot 13. This can make parking a hassle for students as hundreds of people every day are trying to find somewhere to park. On the other side of it all, there are 10 parking lots dedicated exclusively to staff and faculty that students are prohibited from parking in 7 days a week. If you're a graduate student, you're lucky enough to park there after 4 p.m. on weekdays, but for the rest of you undergraduates, you're out of luck. Those lots are almost always half full and you will never be allowed to park there. Like I said, unbalanced parking system. A piece of seasoned advice, just avoid lot 5 in its entirety. It's the best lot on campus and for that reason, everyone is going to be gunning for it. Lot 6 is obtainable if you can get there early enough, but the safest bet will always be lot 7. Since it's a parking garage, it has the most space and you're basically guaranteed a spot there. If you have an electric car, you're in luck. Located on the first floor of Lot 7, there are 10 charging spots on the wall for you to charge your car while you're at class. Best of luck trying to get one though, because I have never seen one open since so many people are vying for so little spots. In order to park on campus in the first place, you're gonna need to purchase a parking decal. First year students aren't even allowed to park here on campus, so just save this information for later. Depending on how long you want your car here on campus, you can get different types of decals. There are passes for a day or even two weeks, but if you're commuting or just keeping your car on campus, you're most likely going to need the semester decal. This lets you park in any of the approved locations and avoids a fine. Campus police are allegedly looking on campus for cars that break these rules 24-7. If you're in the wrong lot or don't have a pass, you can get a citation, or depending on how long your car is there, it could be towed. If you do get a fine, it's not the end of the world. It's $50 they force you to pay or you can't register for more classes. Now, you didn't hear this from me, but you can actually appeal these citations. Long story short, I got a fine on my car last semester and I put in an appeal. A few months later, they appealed it out of courtesy, since it was my first and only issue. Now, I'm not trying to say you could potentially get away with parking somewhere you shouldn't, but if you do get a ticket for any reason, just make sure to appeal it. It's a bloodbath trying to find a spot at TCNJ, so just plan ahead of time and try and get there as early as you can. You're never going to get a spot right away, and it's best to just accept that and do what you can to make it to class on time. Good luck, and may the parking odds be ever in your favor, and I hope you enjoy your time at TCNJ.